guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my March empties. And let me tell you, I done good, I done good. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's not much else to say. These are my empties for March, the end. Let's dive in. Um, I am going to be bringing back my wine empties. It has been much, much requested from you guys, obviously with a channel, with the name like I do, wine needs to be included. So I do have, um, I think three bottles this month, not a lot. I've kind of stepped back from wine lately. I don't know why, like it, I just, I don't know. I've been drinking a lot more healthy things, if you will. So um, yeah, let's start with the beauty stuff. That way, if you guys are not interested in the wine empties, um, you can take off and you still saw your video. So let's start uh, right here. So this first thing I have here is a shower gel in the scent uh, Carried Away. This is by Bath & Body Works. I have since gravitated away from these. I think I have two or three left in my collection and then I'm not gonna purchase them anymore. I just don't feel like they hydrate. I feel like all they're really there for is to fragrance my body. Um, they're just not my favorite formula. Um, so this one was Lush Raspberries, Juicy Pear Nectar, White Jasmine, Soft Violet Petals, and Whipped Vanilla. I actually didn't like this scent at all. This smelled like laundry detergent, straight up laundry detergent. And it was a struggle to use up, but I did. So there is that. Nick primarily used this one up, um, and this is also Bath & Body Works one in the scent Eucalyptus Spearmint, which was Eucalyptus, Fresh Spearmint, Clary Sage, Sparkling Citrus, and Iced Musk. It was just a very, like, fresh, minty, vivacious, that's a big word, um, kind of like an awakening scent for him. Um, he didn't say he disliked it. He doesn't really honestly care what he uses, so I can't really give like a full recommendation for that. As far as the scent goes, it's a really nice scent. If you like minty or scents like that, that's actually a really good one. Um, I have one, two, three, four Bath & Body Works hand soaps. So we're gonna start with the two foaming hand soaps, and these were obviously left over from the holidays. Um, this one here is in the scent Twisted Peppermint, which I adore. I love this. I will probably purchase these every single year. I actually really like the foaming hand soaps. They don't dry my skin out like most other people claim that it does. Um, so I will repurchase them. I do like them. And this one is in the scent Tis the Season, which is kind of like an apple cinnamon scent. It was actually really nice around the holidays. I just kind of got sick and tired of it. There's just a tiny, tiny bit left down there, but it was time to move it on. Um, so yes, there's that. And then I have one of these Creamy Lux hand soaps in the scent Frosted Cranberry, which was just cranberries and peach. This was okay. There is still a little bit at the bottom, but I wasn't going to put water in it and get it all weird just to use up the last little drops of it. It's fine. Um, I buy these when they're on sale for like $2.99 or $2.50 or whatever, so I don't mind leaving a drop in the bottom. This scent was really nice. I like the scent of this. It's very, very like light and fresh and fruity. So I would actually probably repurchase that scent. So this next hand soap is currently in my bathroom on its last leg getting used up. I did add a little bit of water to this packaging, but I decided against it. That's why it looks a little bit weird at the bottom. It's just got some water in with the soap down there. Um, but this was one of the nourishing hand soaps in the scent Spiced Apple Bourbon. This smells so so good. So if that ever comes back, most definitely, I will be stocking up for that for the fall. Oh, I lied. I have another hand soap. My gosh, it's like a hand soap month. Um, this one was in the kids' bathroom for a while, and this is the Mrs. Meyers Apple Cider Hand Soap. I do not like these at all. I like the scent of it. Um, I actually prefer the cleaner, the spray cleaner in these. It smells like apple cider, but these like don't foam and they really make my hands super, super dry. So I would not repurchase any more than Mrs. Myers. I think I have two left, three left maybe, but after that, that's it, I'm done. I used up a perfectly posh Goodnight Kisses uh, softening lip mask sample thing. This actually takes forever to get through you guys because it's you barely need any. This is very like shea and coconut oil uh, based. So when you put it on your lips, you just need a tiny bit because it melts and turns into almost an oil and then you rub it all over your lips. I like it. It's got a nice peppermint scent to it, but it's not my ultimate favorite lip mask by any stretch. The Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask or the Bite Beauty Agave one are my go-tos. So I wouldn't purchase the full size, but it was nice to have. And I actually do have another one of those um, in use right now. 
I used up a little sample of the Too Faced glitter glue. I have a full size of this. I love it. It's probably the best glitter glue I've ever used, but just wanted to use up the sample because why not? Oh, dropped it. I used up a Carez Pomegranate AHA Enzyme Resurfacing Mask. This one was pretty good. It had like a little bit of a fruitier scent to it, um, but it had these little tiny like granules in it that when you put the mask on, when you were done, you kind of scrubbed it onto your skin. So it was a nice, you know, exfoliating mask, but not something that I feel is so unique. I need to go repurchase right away. I used up a toothpaste. This is the Crest Cavity Protection in the regular paste flavor. Um, it's toothpaste. I use toothpaste because it's toothpaste and if it cleans my teeth, great. I used up a sheet mask and this is by Patchology and this is the Just Let It Glow Healthy Glow Sheet Mask. I liked this. I thought it was really, really heavy on the serum. So I actually ended up using a lot of the serum after the mask. I just kept the package and like, you know, used it as a serum because there was so much in there. Do I feel like it did anything crazy and outlandish? No, not really. Um, I only, you know, used one, so I wasn't expecting anything, but it, I mean, it was a nice sheet mask. I do like their, uh, their mask itself. It fits the face really well. So if that's something you guys are into. I used up two pairs of lashes. We have these by Illamasqua. And these were in the style, I don't know if they have a style, Captivate? Captivate, I don't have the lashes, They the cat got them naturally. Um, but here's the packaging, um, these were great. I actually got to reuse these a bunch of times. They were very, um, very natural, but still had a little bit of oomph behind them. Really, really nice. Um, and then I used up another pack of Ardell Wispies. I have like 50 of these. These are one of my favorite kind of everyday go-to lashes. They just give you a little bit of extra something without being like super dramatic. I used up a sample size of the NARS, uh, I think it was the Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Gobi. A little bit too warm tone for me, but I did like the finish of it on the skin. It was actually really not horrible. I'm gonna call this one quits, even though it's not completely, completely gone. Um, it's old. It's like three years old and I used a ton of it. We're on like our last leg. Um, and this is the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in the shade Blackest Black. You can literally see like it is so close to being gone. It is dug out. Um, I've since found a different gel liner um, that I've been trying out. So I'm not going to repurchase this yet, but this is definitely a phenomenal, phenomenal liner. Like if you're into gel, that is a super inexpensive, amazingly long lasting gel liner. Love it. I used up one of these little Clinique Fresh Pressed Daily Booster Vitamin C packets, ampules, I don't know what they're called. Basically you, you take this like liquid booster and you mix it in with uh, moisturizer and put it on your face and it's supposed to be like a, you know, extra boost for vitamin C. I didn't notice a difference. I used multiples of these, but they just, meh. It's an extra step that I don't really need in my life. Um, I finally used up this gross packaging. Sorry, you guys. Um, this is the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. So it's just a clear brow gel. And I used the entire tube. This took me well over a year and a half of everyday use to actually use it up. And it's really nice. And it's like $2.99 at Ulta. Um, it's, it's actually really good. It's not like a super strong hold like the Anastasia one would be. It's a lighter hold. But if you're just looking for something to, you know, brush through your brows, kind of keep them in place, nothing crazy. This is a really inexpensive and very, very good product. Okay, a few more things and then we're on to the wine. Um, I'm going to get rid of this Scentbird cartridge. I have done a full blown review on Scentbird. I'll link it down below um, from somebody who's not sponsored. I know a lot of Scentbird people that talk about it are sponsored. I'm not, not even close. Um, so I will link that review down below, but this is one of the cartridges that you use for the actual um, like perfume, containers and this one just kind of doesn't work anymore. It's old, you guys, nothing against Scentbird. It's, it's, these are great, but um, this thing has been used and abused. So I do have like six more. I don't need this one. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. I used up an eyeshadow, um, thank God. So that is that. And this was in the shade, I think it was Cake Batter from my Too Faced Christmas in New York palette. And it was just kind of like a, a peachier transition shade. So that is gone. I'm going to be decluttering this, just tossing it. It's it's dried out and really old. Um, and this is by Unique and it's the Moodstruck Precision Pencil Lip Liner in the shade Primal, which is like a red. Um, and it just, can you see how it sharpens? Like it just sharpens really funky and the color itself is not really the greatest and it's it's like totally dry. Can't even get anything off of it. So that's just going in the garbage. And no, I wouldn't repurchase those. I feel like they are super overpriced for what they are. Um, and then I have four perfume samples. So we have the 
Maison Louis Marie, oh God, yeah, that's a tongue twister. Number four um, perfume. It wasn't bad. It was just kind of like your run of the mill French, you know, typical perfume. So nothing that I would honestly repurchase. Then we had Tory Burch, Just Like Heaven. I actually liked this one. Um, typically I don't like Tory Burch fragrances. I feel like they're just too, again, like generic, but this one actually was very fresh, very light, very floral. Um, quite pretty actually, nothing that I would repurchase. Like I don't have enough right now, but it was pretty. Um, I have a Marc Jacobs Daisy and I, I do like this one. Actually I have Daisy Dream right there. Very pretty, great for spring, super feminine, fresh, flirty kind of fragrance. Just not, it's not long lasting enough for my preferences personally. And then I used up a Kat Von D Sinner uh, sample. I don't mind it, it's not my favorite. It's a little bit on the mature side for me um, in a way that I personally don't like. I do like some mature scents, but this one just wasn't it. So I would not repurchase that anyway. Um, and that, that's it for the beauty empties. I'm going to talk about the, I'm sorry, there's four wines, I thought there were three. Um, the four wines really quickly. So if you guys were here just for the beauty empties, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know down below what you guys are using up this month. And yeah, that's it, thanks for watching. And if you're here to see the rest of this video with the wines, just keep on watching. Okay, this first wine here is, all of these are Prairie Berry. I'm gonna put that out there, you guys should know by now, it's Prairie Berry. Um, this first one here is in the flavor Poker Face. This is Poker Alice, if you guys are into the whole, you know, history of the Midwest or like the gold rush and things like that. This is Poker Alice. She's famous here in South Dakota, um, mainly for her presence in Deadwood. So anyway, this one was a pineapple and pear wine, which you would think, being me, loving fruitier, sweeter wines, that I would have loved this, and I didn't. I really did not like this. I did not feel that it was sweet enough to really hold the pineapple, so instead what it did was it gave you more of a tart finish, um, but it wasn't sweet enough, so it didn't balance out as well. I wouldn't repurchase this particular wine, which I think is the first Prairie Berry wine that I've ever brought home and drank that I would not repurchase. So that was kind of a surprise to me. This next one here, you've probably heard me talk about a million times before. It is Pumpkin Bog. I bought a case of this last fall, and yeah, we still have some left, but this is one of my favorite wines to put in the crock pot with mulling spices and drink it warm. It's phenomenal. So that's what we did with this one as well. Um, this one is a blend of pumpkin and cranberry. It's fantastic for like Thanksgiving and Christmas. It is a seasonal wine, so you can only get it around Thanksgiving and Christmas, but either way, it is one of my all-time favorites. This next one here is apricot wine, which I think was a newer wine this past year. Um, this one is just it's apricot. That's, that's literally what it is. And it was really nice. It was definitely a like fruitier, um, more sweet like dessert wine. It reminds me a little bit of the peach mead that I love so, so much, but this one was definitely more of a wine versus a honey mead like the other one is. Um, I would probably repurchase this one again. It's a nice little like, you know, refreshing spring or summer wine. And last but not least, this one is Tide as my all-time favorite wine from uh, Prairie Berry. And this one is just Cranberry. Um, this one we love to put in the crock pot with mulling spices. It is very sweet. It has the tartness of the cranberry. You get the cranberry flavor. This is amazing. Um, this one sells out pretty quickly, so we tend to buy a lot of them around the holidays when they do release it. So far they come back every year, but it's never a guarantee, so you kind of got to live your life with a little bit of FOMO. <laughs> Fear of missing out. Um, so that's why we buy cases. Anyway, this one is, like I said, one of my favorites that Prairie Berry does, and I would absolutely 1000% repurchase it. Thank you guys so much for watching the entire video. If you stayed this long, let me know down below, like comment a star or something goofy, just to let me know that you made it this far. Um, it means a lot to me to have you guys support everything that I do here. So thank you guys again. I love you so much, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.